On Tuesday the 11th of December 2018, Mariah Carey brought her Christmas show, All I Want for Christmas Is You, a night of joy and festivity to London. This was my third time seeing her in concert, my second time seeing the Christmas show, and my first time seeing her from the front row, having purchased the Ultimate Experience package. Sitting in the front row at the O2 is an experience that is hard to explain. Turning around and looking at the huge crowd behind you really creates an understanding of how awesome it must feel to have so many people come to see you as a performer. I went to this concert by myself, which is not unusual for me, I do that quite a lot. What was unusual was that I spent time talking to those sat around me when I arrived. It sounds obvious, but anyone who purchases one of the upgraded tickets is going to be a huge fan. These girls knew about the new manager, the stage manager, the bodyguards, way more than I did, which was in some ways quite intimidating, but I have to say they were all really pleasant and lovely to speak with. When Mariah appeared on stage, the girl sat next to me and I kept saying how unreal it felt. The previous times I'd been to see Mariah, I'd been way at the back or at great height, so to have her no more than 15 feet away was an experience in and of itself. If my night had consisted of only seeing the show from the front row, my night would have been made. However, the stars aligned and I think I ended up getting way more from the experience than most could ever dream to. During O Santa, there was a point where a lot of people on both sides of me were filming and taking photos, which I have no problem with. I took several nice pictures myself, but at this point, however, I was engaging with the stage and singing back. Mariah noticed my participation, looked me dead in the eye and sang at me for about five lines of the song, which was, it was super intense, but it was really cool. I was asked the other day if I did anything embarrassing in front of Mariah, and my initial reaction was to say no, but that's not entirely true. It's kind of a funny story, and it was a huge part of my night, so in the name of honesty, Towards the end of the second act, Mariah performs Here Comes Santa Claus, and a Santa with a sack of small gifts comes out on the stage. The Santa and the dancers throw these small presents into the crowd at random directions, and I honestly don't know how anyone catches any of these smaller things, but there you go. As the song progresses, however, Mariah goes into the sack herself and produces a lamb, and in a second, and, well, guess who caught one? I have to attribute this to not having my phone out at the appropriate time and having been previously seen participating. There's footage online of the lambs being thrown from the stage at me and the girl next to me from several angles. What you don't see, and what I haven't found luckily, is the brief tug of war that ensued when we both caught the same one. Luckily, a security guard picked up the arrow and quickly gave that to her. We apologised, laughed it off, returned to being grown-ups. So, to return to the question, did I do anything embarrassing? Well, yes, only if you consider fighting a mother over a plush lamb embarrassing, then sure. I, however, maintained that it was worth it, and I would do it again. There's only a couple of lambs thrown, and that's such a special keepsake. Well, one of the other cool things about being so close to the front is that you get to see a lot of other interesting things happen that you might otherwise miss. Brian Snacker was running around with his phone, and the girl to my right got a selfie with him as he stopped at the right moment. Little things like that are really cool. Getting to hear The Distance live as something new from the Caution album was a treat. When we got to All I Want For Christmas, the audience were on their feet and you could really feel the positivity in the room. If the night had ended there, I could have gone home a happy boy, but <laughs> there was more to come yet. Part of the package is the opportunity to have a photo of Mariah, so after the show. So I want to interject here. I'd even made the mistake of referring to the ultimate package as a meet and greet myself, as had the staff at the O2 who all gave us wristbands with MNG written on them. This wasn't accurate, the package clearly lists it as a photo opportunity, which honestly I'm fine with. I know a lot of people want to have a minute or so to share their story, but I was quite happy to do a quick introduction, get the photo and move on before I embarrassed myself. While we were waiting in line, Mariah's bodyguard Larry, who was hilarious intentionally or not, Essentially said we'd get about 10 seconds each. This was clearly quite disappointing to a few people there, but I have to say there were a lot of people waiting, way more than I would have thought possible for the limited number of packages available. If everyone had had a minute or so, we would have been there all night, and really that's a lot to ask of anyone, so I wasn't particularly upset. Once it started moving, the line actually moved fairly quickly. Backstage at the O2, there's a lot of framed signed memorabilia on the walls. There was stuff from Whitney Houston, Jason Derulo, Taylor Swift, like a lot of big names uh, in this hallway and so to look at these while we were waiting it was really cool to see. So myself and one of the girls from my row, we get to the front of the line. Larry sends her through first. Now again, this process is meant to be fairly quick. Fairly quick that is unless Mar Mariah decides to halt proceedings. The girl in front of me had an awesome set of Mariah themed tattoos and Mariah insisted that someone bring over a phone so that they could get a photo possibly for social media or something. 
Now, Larry had already sent me through at this point, and I was greeted by Christopher Buckle, who many will know as Mariah's makeup artist. What should happen is he gets my name, takes me to Mariah, introduces me, and that's that. What happened instead is that Christopher got my name, saw that Mariah was enjoying the girl's tattoos and that we would have to wait a moment. This meant that I spent a moment talking with him as well. I didn't say anything overly insightful, as I wasn't really expecting to see him, let alone speak with him. I said to him that it was probably going to be quite a long night for them all, as there were still so many people in line. And he stroked my arm and he was asking if I was nervous and, you know, surprisingly I wasn't. Like, I was kind of expecting to be a bit of a state, but honestly I was holding it together very well. <laughs> and then it happened. So, we walk over to Mariah and Christopher says, Mariah, this is Callum. And Mariah says, hi Callum, nice to meet you. Now, we had been previously warned not to touch Mariah or do anything, which again, I was okay with as I don't want to humiliate myself and doing nothing is fine. I'm really good at doing nothing. However, as soon as she started speaking, Mariah grabbed my hand and she held it for the entire time we spoke. I didn't say a lot, I just said that I travelled from Scotland and that I'd had a really good time and that I was really enjoying caution and she was so sweet and lovely and with that she put her hand on my shoulder, two photos were taken, she thanked me again and we were done. All in all I couldn't have been happier. I think the whole experience lasted maybe 20 to 30 seconds or so. It wasn't as sharp as 10 seconds but I didn't outstay my welcome either. More than that, I really liked the photo I got. I was terrified of looking awful, but I look passable. Mariah looks lovely. And all in all, this was the perfect end to an experience I will never forget.